What's going on, guys? Tony Samanat here, a.k.a. Real World Tactical, and I'm here with the CEO of Hazard Ford, California, Philip. This has been the 10th year they have come to SHOT Show, and they've been in business 15 years. I'm proud to say that I've been with the company now for about two years now. And maybe even three. Maybe even three, yeah. like two and a half, almost three years, right? Every single year, they are pushing the limit. They are pushing the threshold of design, being on top of their stuff, okay? I want to show you some of the new stuff that they've just come out with this year. Remember this, guys. This is number one quality. This is the best stuff on the market right now and probably the best on when it comes to design work. That's why I've been with them for such a long time. Come, come over here. So, some of the new stuff that they've just come out with, some extra accessories to their bags is this rail right here where you can add any kind of accessory you want to it, magazine, so on and so forth. Yeah, we've got a, even a demo on the back here. We made these slots in these rails so they could fit any of those like uh, Kydex type systems, yeah. magazine systems. Awesome. You can see them hooked up over here. You yeah. can almost make like a chest pack out of it Okay. where, where it comes around and uh, made it so versatile. You can attach almost anything to these awesome. different colors as well. Yeah, Some so different colors. Um, you have whatever you want on there. Now, this is an accessory, guys. This is, doesn't come with the pack, which is a good thing because if you don't want them, you don't have to have them, right? But I'm an option kind of guy. I love options. So the more options you have, the better the product it is, okay? What are some other some stuff that you've gone over, uh, some new stuff this year? So over here, uh, if we come over to this backpack, so, you know, obviously we've had backpacks before, mm -hmm. and it's all, you know, the 1000D Cordura construction, of the course. patented uh, pucks and stuff like that, the hardware, hard point that we call it. Yeah. But we never had one that would hold a helmet or some external load okay. outside of these ones with the rails and that kind of stuff, of but course. on a soft type pack. So we did this guy here, it's called the draw bridge. Okay. And the reason we called it that is because we've got this, you know, bridge kind of a section that can pull off and uh, put a helmet or a put jacket a or, or something, something bigger. Okay. Then the other thing with these, uh, typically they're like thin, just a kind of a beaver tail. Yeah. This one we actually made with a volume, so you could put stuff in there. Okay. It has an admin area. It gives you a large space for, for Velcro and stuff okay. like that. The other cool thing is if you fold it all the way off, the straps that were used to lower that drawbridge part can actually come around in the front because you've got a male and a female like that. Mm -hmm. Just the two lower ones can do that too. You've got a pocket here. So you could put a rifle or some other long item like a you know, photo tripod or something all the okay. way through here. Awesome. And secure it with those straps or maybe if it needs to be face down with the muzzle down or something, you can clip it together. Okay. And you've got that. The other thing, it's a small improvement. These things typically when they're on straps will move around a lot and kind of float as yeah. opposed to being all sewn together. So what we did here is had a large like deployable piece of Velcro that when it's not being used for some kind of ID or something, I got you. actually secures this thing in place so it's not moving all over the place. And then the straps, you know, you the, the, straps the, on the, top the of final that. follow up. You know, we've got you some. You also uh, have some side pockets here, as you can see, the top pocket here, and then you have the main pocket. Yeah, and the cool thing with the main pocket opening, you know, our packs typically open all the way around, which this one does as well. But we did the zippers in such a way so you can also have kind of a top load. Okay. And then on this side over here, we've also got it so that you can do like a side access. To, uh, to the pocket okay. over here. So if you, from our experience of like stuff that's being used as chest packs, this gives you the ability to uh, just open it kind of. Yeah, as you have it across your body, it works on the cro across the body exactly. as well. And then these straps kind of keep it from opening from any opening further. Up any further. Get some stuffing in there right now. Yeah. Now, as usual, we've got our typical uh, back panel that would have your hydration, your laptop, your CCW. And this is interesting over also here. Also too, for an armor, you can place armor in there as well. So oh, that's right. It's big enough to fit perfect. even the Some biggest armor. stuff, like hard yeah. plates. Not even. Nowadays, they're making these really skinny plates that are armor. A lot of companies are making that Defender armor, Premier armor, quite a bit of them, where they'll make the armor exactly for that right there. So you could use it as a bullet, uh, I heard bullet even this year ballistic. at Chacho, there, there's even some that are semi-flexible, but they'll stop rifle uh, rounds. Absolutely, yep, yeah. yep, yep. The other nice thing, too, I almost forgot this strap over here. It's simple, but it's just for your luggage handles, you know, where you can put it oh, through the luggage. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's phenomenal. And then if you don't want it, you can remove it, and then these extra loops can be for like clipping carabiners or something like good, that good, as an good, extra yeah. thing. We just tested too. These fit the uh, most of the popular night vision goggles. So when you have your pack over here, the section here can hold the. Oh, the, okay. The then, okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So that's, so that's one of the newest ones, right? That you got coming. Yeah. yeah. So now you have that in different colors, right, Philip? Yeah. Of course, we got even this gray man here, which With you the like. The gray man. Know, I love the gray man, urban, guys. Uh, concealment. Yeah. It's a little bit lighter fabric. It's not as tough, but it's also less expensive and it's lighter weight. Yeah. We have a little bit less uh, of the molly and stuff outside. Yeah. And then you've got uh, an urban option that's uh, 
Got yeah. Blend in a little bit, blend a little bit better, yeah. So we like have that. the gray man, we got the, the coyote, got, uh, and we got yeah, uh, multi cam, and then we have black over here, guys, as you can see. Yep. So and four even different here we, colors. We did some uh, just a, a quick paint job with two colors on top of the brown, yep. some leaves laid over just to get a, a camo. Like a camo or, look. Over here, we did some using some masking tape. The high vis, maybe somebody's oh, a yeah. motorcycle or some kind of hazmat team or something. Awesome. So we're just encouraging people to play with them and, and do stuff like that. Great. So there you have it. 15 years in the game, all right? 10 years here at Chat Show. If you have a chance, stop by the booth. It'll be great to have you. Great. Awesome.